you're wasting all the time Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time Recorded for Thursday, July 21st, 2022 Hello, hey. all of you people, and welcome to this Wasting All the Time, Season 2. <gasps> I will be your host for this green episode. My name Yay. is Dave, hey. and I will be joined by my three cohorts in podcasting criminality. <laughs> John what? Dance. I am John. <gasps> Jess. Hi, I'm the Jess that he talked about. And Cody. It's me, Cody, from the internet. You'll be hearing from all of these fine folks very soon. But before we do, I'm going to kick things off with a little segment called Science Time with Dave. Do it. Where I take a random topic, speak about it for a short period of time, and we all walk away knowing a little more than we used to. Eck, yes. So I'm going to use the Science Time wheel of topics to pick <gasps> what we talk about today. Let's find out. I love that sound effect. My favorite part of any segment that happens. On the planet. Mm -hmm. Today we are talking about grasses. Get ready to learn, because it's Science, science time, time with, with Dave. Dave. That's right, we're talking about grass today, which is one of the more important plants that you are totally sleeping on, so the kids say. <laughs> Grasses make up some of the most important things that we need in this world. Not just talking about a nice green lawn, okay? That's weird that we do that. I'm talking about things like Wheat and rice, those are all grasses. Bamboo is a kind of a grass. Grass is like one of the most plentiful diff kinds of species of like multi things like growing in the world. It's 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 astounding. Like it's it, grasses are the staple food of cultures around the world. And that's all I know about grass, but there's more music. <laughs> <laughs> also the fiber <laughs> grass Fibrous content of grass hmm? 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 marijuana joke there you go marijuana joke if you there if you, you disagree with Dave your ass is wrong wheat. <laughs> <laughs> ah. man it was like you're sleeping on it I was like no shit there's grass in my bed <laughs> <laughs> like half a second maybe I I probably <laughs> no, it's, it's all the way upstairs I'm way too lazy <laughs> alright so that is grass uh, now let's move it on to the next segment upwards downwards forwards backwards I say we go through words doodly do so that's right, it is now time for Fruit Words. Yes. Fruit Words is a game we play utilizing cards of two kinds and colors. Red cards are nouns and green cards are adjectives. We will digitally draw one of each card, and then we will use that to inspire as an improv scene. I'm using FruitWards.com, which was built by our lovely patron, Unexampled Salt. Here we go. Our selection today is Bluet's Comfort. Bluets. Bluets is a name given to several different species of plants having <gasps> blue flowers. Ah. It's a and lot of Latin. Comfort is assistance, relief, or support. Mm. Okay. okay. So a blue flower type, assistance, relief, or support. Okay. Hey, uh, I hear they're gonna let you out uh next week. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, next week. That's great. <sighs> Everything, uh, everything's, everything's getting back to normal. Yeah, pretty well back to normal. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, it seems like the, uh, the therapy is working. Um, and, uh, and that the, uh, the condition is in, in remission. That's great. That's great. 
I brought you some flowers. <clears throat> I hope you like them. Oh my god. Uh did you have to choose that particular flower? I thought it was pretty. I saw it on the way in, picked it up from the sidewalk. <laughs> it's growing on the sidewalk out there? Yeah, just down around the corner. I had to They park. were going to release me to a sidewalk with that growing on it? I think so. Is that a problem? I it's feel like Wolf I did something Spain. wrong. It's Wolf <laughs> Spain. Okay. But you So what does that mean? I'm lost. That sounds Look. like a fairy tale thing. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Oh, fairy tale. Fairy tale my ass. This is universal wanna, is... horror movie shit, man. <laughs> I, you know, know I I'm in like here, scary. right? I thought it was because you got attacked. I mean, yes. There's a reason why they'd lock me up only for a few days every month, though. Hey, Re- Anderson, oh. your time's up. Get out of here. The, look, okay. he ju- he says there's Wolfsbane on the sidewalk out there. D- do I look like that's my problem, Anderson? You serve your time. This ain't no bed and breakfast. This ain't no hang out and see what the commune is doing in the morning type organization. Anderson. Right. Look, just because it's not going to be a full moon tonight anymore. Mm. Mm. You know, I don't I haven't been through all of the stuff yet. You know, I don't know. If, is this wolf going to kill me if I step on it? Sorry, you talking to me. This is my interested face. Oh, my God. I feel <laughs> this like place is talk- useless. <laughs> at least it's covered you know by your insurance i guess <clears throat> is it i mean that's sort of in up in the air right now i'm i'm <laughs> you know apparently uh lycanthropy is uh is not a recognized disease it's a condition okay so you want the flowers or no? I would not <laughs> like the flowers. It is a very kind gesture. But please throw them away. Okay. I can help you with your bags, I guess. That'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Ding. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know why in my head you were in prison. <laughs> That's where I was first. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but when when Dave said said, um, I guess everything's getting back to normal or whatever that was, it was like, okay, well, uh, that doesn't work for prison anymore. So I'm I'm doing something else. I, yeah. It, when you were like, I was attacked, and so in my head, you had set up. You were attacked by a werewolf, turned into one. Attacked yes. someone else and then got sent to prison and like and they oh. were like, oh, we haven't seen you be a werewolf in a while, so you're out. Like you were like, it hasn't been a full moon, and I was like, so the prison's being like, who gives a shit? We don't want this guy in here. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just sound like a really terrible rehab facility. <laughs> yeah, which yeah, makes yeah, it yeah, funnier yeah. to me. <laughs> I was actually uh, really happy that you went in with that, Cody, because I pretty much was gonna do the same character. <laughs> nice. Just like. It was going to be like passive aggressively like, oh, but it's time for you to go. You know, the moon <laughs> is <laughs> gone. Like, <laughs> Literally, <laughs> please leave. <laughs> please leave. We yeah. need this room. <laughs> That's, yeah. All right, looking back, it was like, Jesus, I'm such an asshole of a character being like, you can't hang around, asshole. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh, the things we learn. <laughs> you don't have to maul someone, but you can't stay here. So that's fruit can't. words. Yeah. Frutuardos. Let's kick it off. And by it, I mean the next segment. That was awesome. Twitter shins. That's right, it's time for Twitter Shins Rapid Balls. I'll tell you what, I went on Twitter. I found I'm tweets sorry. that had I'm questions sorry. in them. And now I'm going to present them to my cohorts, and they are going to provide their feedback. So, tweet number three from Kate Nancaro, at Kate underscore Nancaro. 
packing up, I have found my diary from 30 years ago. <sighs> Do I want to know what I was thinking then? Blushy, surprise, sort of apprehensive face. Hashtag diaries, hashtag writing. Jess. Okay. So I'm going to say this right right now, Kate, right now, right out the get-go. You do not want to know what she was thinking about 30 years ago. And the reason you don't want to know what you was thinking about 30 years ago is because that's going to make you culpable of any other uh, nefarious deeds that you might have so conveniently forgotten that you were done 30 years ago. There's a reason why you wrote it down and then you promptly forgot about it and moved on to what is going to happen on the next season of Big Brother. Okay, there's a reason (laughs) why you don't know the exact color of a certain particular vehicle that you may or may not have found yourself accidentally opening a door and kind of falling down into the front. And as you got up, you know, a couple wires wires touched each other and suddenly get zooming down Van Ness in San Francisco while singing to the soundtrack of the Goonies. Like you don't need to know any of that stuff no more because, because if you don't remember it, did it ever really happen? And if that's the case, then how are they supposed to prosecute? (laughs) Never read anything when culpability is in the mix. Cody. I cannot stress this enough. No. God, no. (laughs) No. This is worse than Indiana Jones opening the goddamn Ark of the Covenant. Not only will your face and eyeballs melt in that order... But your soul will invert itself from the pure amount of cringe that you will no doubt discover that you penned in your, judging from your picture, early teens. We had Live Journal. We had Live Journal, and that shit was awful. And we wrote that shit knowing <laughs> that other people were going to see it. You wrote shit in your diary with the sole purpose of no one ever reading it again. And now you want to crack open that goddamn Pandora's box and go, I bet I was a delightful child. No, do not. (laughs) What? (laughs) At the very least, get so blind stinking drunk first that you don't remember it. It's kind of like a memory protection thing. But even then, you're still going to scar your psyche like really bad. So, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't. I'll pray for you. God, no. Pandora's box will melt your eyeballs. John. <laughs> well, look at it this way, Ms. Uh, Nan Caro, was it? Um, <laughs> every seven to ten years, the body completely replaces all of its cells, meaning that the person that wrote that diary not only is not you, but no longer exists in the first place. And what an intriguing curiosity that has now become. A person that no longer exists, that once shared a name with you, wrote this diary. Well, I should think that'd be terribly interesting to read what this strange alien life form was (laughs) thinking about all those years ago before metamorphizing into the, uh, the, the lovely lady that we are addressing now. So I think you should read that. And I think you should um, appreciate the fact that that person is now, for all intents and purposes, dead. (laughs) Asterisk. These comments have not been reviewed by the U.S. judicial system. (laughs) Tweet number two from Elise at Angelic Elise. Elise, Elise, underscore something like that. Anyway. (laughs) Anyone alive? John. I think that you will find, um, after uh, performing the appropriate battery of tests uh, on on all uh, various uh, bodily systems uh, (laughs) that I possess, that I am, in fact, not alive. Uh, None of them are currently working. um, (laughs) And um, and I I blame that entirely upon a, a strange tome that I opened... Um, 75 years ago that um, sucked out um, something. I wasn't able to do the 
proper research, but I believe it may have been my soul. And uh, it's just never been quite the same ever since. Um, going to the doctor is a terrible bore. Um, <laughs> and um, and so I, I hope that answers your question. And also, please be very careful about the, the specific types of books you read. Uh, diaries are one thing. Old manuscripts of this nature are a totally different thing. Asterisk. Strange tome soul extraction not guaranteed. <laughs> Cody. No. No one's alive. You know why? Because the lady from the last question opened her goddamn diary against my advice, and it was worse than Pandora's box and the Ark of the Covenant combined. It was like a Twitter comment section mixed with YouTube, and no one was ready for that. People are dying across the globe at an unprecedented rate, turning themselves inside out from the pure amount of cringe and vitriol and toxicity that has just been unleashed on everyone. Um, I'm not going to say it's partially your fault for asking this question, because it's actually not, so don't worry about it. It's the it's the last person's fault, honestly, for writing such a terrible diary, but really, whose fault is that? It's theirs. It's not yours, and it's certainly not mine. I had nothing to do with this. You can't pin any of this on me. So just keep going. Keep asking if anyone's alive. Soon enough, the answer will be no, and well, then you won't be able to ask the question because you won't be alive. So I guess the answer to that question can never be no. Huh. I bum myself out a little bit. Hmm. Pandora's box will melt your eyes, but <laughs> we're not assigning blame. <laughs> Jess. So I just want you to uh, stop to consider something. I'm going to get real deep here. How can you, anybody be alive when no one has ever truly lived? And what am I talking about? What am I saying when I say that? I'm saying that nobody has been able to properly experience the true delight of a very good ice cream sandwich. It's not possible. Mm. Every time, every time you try and bite a new one, you think this is the most amazing thing you've ever had. But it's because we forget because we wrote it in our diaries 30 years ago and we needed to forget about it. And now we've got to block it our minds. We all got it. It's a collective consciousness of blocks. And that blocks is never being able to truly live because we can't remember the last time we had a really good ice cream sandwich. And then when you get one, you're like, oh, this is amazing. This is going to be the best one that ever happened. But then the next one is the best one that ever happened. And then the next one's the best one that ever happened. And it keeps going on and on and on. I'm talking, we are talking about an Ouroboros of, are you alive? If you've truly had a good ice cream sandwich and none of us are, we are stuck. We are stuck in the cycle and happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Tweet number one from R4MZ at Ben underscore R4MZ. Breakfast? Jess. Oh, Rams? That that ain't no breakfast. That is that is that is depression toast <laughs> smothered in denial peanut butter, I think. <laughs> I don't even I think it looks like it looks like you ran out of one of your jars of peanut butter partway through. And so one piece has got one peanut butter and the other piece has got the other peanut butter. And either way, that bread is dead. Because that bread has never found an ice cream sandwich that it liked. <laughs> so my advice to you is just write it down. Write it down. Forget about this atrocity. Move on with your life, Rams. <laughs> just move on. Rams, your breakfast is the reason that we have FDIC insured bank accounts. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I'm really glad she opened that diary and is rapidly killing every human on Earth. If That means no one else has to experience a Cthulhu-like abomination that you dare to place near the word breakfast. You goddamn heathen. That's just, that's an atrocity. You know what? I'm going to go find my old live journal because it has to be more comfortable than looking at this. You've just oh, no. <laughs> made my life worse in every possible way with this hellacious... Dave talked about how good grass was and look at you turning that on its head with this shithole of what you call food. I'm just, I'm very upset at you. Rams? Ben Rams? No, this isn't breakfast. This is break soul. Eat you. 
I don't know how to process that. I feel supported. <laughs> Sean. Well, old Bean, I suppose it all depends on uh, when the last time you ate was. If it's been quite some time, then you would, in fact, be breaking a fast, and we could call this breakfast. Um, if, however, you've eaten in the last 20 minutes to an hour, then it's definitely not breakfast. Also, I do have to just, you know, a slight point of order. I notice that you've you've smeared what appears to be peanut butter on this uh, toast, um, which is incorrect. Um, peanut butter is, of course, a lovely sort of a thing. Um, but if you are trying to do a traditional breakfast toast, um, I'm going to need to see Marmite scraped on there. <laughs> um, just a thin layer. Just a thin layer. Uh, most people... Um, trying it for the first time, uh, make the mistake of really lathering it on, and it's terrible um, stuff that you only want a little bit of because, um, you know, it's terrible. So um, back to the drawing board in that respect. <laughs> but other than that, um, again, it is going to be break fast if you are indeed breaking a fast. So that's entirely up to you. I don't have enough... Uh, information to make that judgment, only you, only you can answer this question. So please do. Don't come to us with it. It's very lazy, terribly lazy <laughs> of you to do such a thing and, and quite an imposition. So please go back to your, whatever you were doing, answer this question <laughs> of yourself, and then come back and perhaps we can move forward with something useful. All right? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Lovely day. Asterisk, get a watch. <laughs> this has been Twitter Shins kind of long-winded balls. <laughs> my nickname in high school. All my balls oh, no. are long-winded. So that last bit of John's was the oh. most condescending, like, why don't yeah. you go do whatever you're doing? And then when you're done, you can come back and we can have a real discussion. <laughs> like couched in this, like almost sounds like real advice. <laughs> it was awesome. I uh, I decided early on that that was a terrible person. Good, bad I character. Concur. So. And agree. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And he remains so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's keep things uh, just like time goes on, and we move on from our diary entries. Uh, let's move on from what we've done so far and uh, get to the next segment. Okay. Perfect. Nailed it. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. I don't have a nail to hold up. It is. What day is this? Woo! It's today. In this segment, I reference nationaldaycalendar.com to find mm. out what today is all about. And today course being july 21st which is of course national junk food day yes <laughs> may as well july be my birthday and christmas yes july 21st day and no other day <laughs> none other <laughs> only only this none but this july 21st dedicates a giant menu of items to national junk food day each year the day permits us to chow down on the foods we usually don't include in our daily diet so <laughs> for yourself <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Junk foods, by definition, <laughs> typically contain high fats, sugars, salt, and calories, and very little nutritional value other than the ones we just listed. Ironic that salt is not in the <laughs> chat today. Right? With the advent of packaged foods during the late 1800s, junk food made its way into American life. Still, home-cooked meals remained the standard for several more decades. Eventually, after World War II, the artery-clogging industry took off. Since the population <laughs> ate out more, traveled more, the industry was primed to produce products at an increased rate. From the frozen food aisle to fast food chains, a myriad of choices for consumers flooded the market. Potato chips, baked goods, and so much more filled supermarket shelves, prepackaged and ready to go. By the 1970s, junk foods earned a name, and a bad one too. Michael Jacobson, a microbiologist, is credited with coining the phrase, 
He also set out to curb our appetite for the high sugar, high salt, high preservative foods Americans consumed at an alarming rate. While deep fried fat laced foods increase our waistlines, cholesterol, and blood sugar numbers, an occasional indulgence shouldn't impact a healthy, diverse diet and lifestyle. Also, producers make healthy versions of our favorite junk foods to entice us to enjoy a little. <laughs> so there's a healthy version of a double quarter pounder with cheese? All right. <laughs> How I'll to observe hashtag National Junk Food Day. Stuff your face. <laughs> Snack a little. No, Chow down enough. on your favorite chip, dip, or treat. In fact, treat the family or workplace to a beverage or takeout. If you're looking for some <laughs> international go, snacking soda. Player, <laughs> check out 24 <laughs> snacks from around the world. Post on uh, social media using hashtag no. National Junk Food Day. <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> you can also celebrate by taking a walk or doing some yard work to burn <laughs> off those extra calories. Yeah, yeah, take a walk, do some yard work. That'll burn like 80, 90 calories of the 1800 you just ate. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead, yeah. knock yourself out, kid. Should be fine. Should be fine. No, you It'll should stay fine. sedentary. Yes! You should eat all of that food and yes. stay sedentary. Yes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hedonism. Oh my gosh. I didn't, didn't mm -hmm. have. I didn't have a lot. I didn't have a lot of junk food growing up. Like we had it, I guess, but I just didn't. Mm. Hmm. And so you think you're better than me because you didn't eat a lot of junk food and I did. Hmm? I'm just saying I didn't have a lot of junk food. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. I'm just saying okay. that like I grew just, up mm, in a mm. home that mm -hmm. everything well, most things were freshly cooked or baked. We mm -hmm. uh, didn't have mm -hmm. any frozen foods either. Like tried mm. it once, tried it once. My mother was livid. She said mm. never again. OK, I just I think the timing is a little peculiar. You said you don't think you're better than me. But I just kind of confessed my heart out to everybody that I'm afraid that I'm addicted. And you, and you thought this was a great time to jump in. Yeah, I wasn't listening just for the record, so you're cool. Wait, to me or to her? Hmm? <laughs> I'm, look, look just, I thank you for your bravery. Thank you so much for your bravery. I just, I... Hmm. You're welcome for my bravery. I mean, excuse me? I said you're welcome for my bravery. You said thank you. I'm trying to be polite. Okay, okay. Um, I didn't. I thought. I thought maybe you said something else. So I just want your oh. clarification. That's all. What would I have said? I don't know. I thought. I don't know. I just wanted. I just didn't. I didn't hear it all properly. So I just wanted to make sure that I heard what I thought I heard and not what I might have thought I heard, which I did not. Which is good. Well, I can't know what you thought. I'm not in your head. Exactly. And I didn't hear anything. Okay, group. Okay, group. Let's <laughs> let's circle back. Let's circle back to uh, to what what Brad's story is all about. This this addiction to um to what was it um the the snowballs. What well, started with snowballs? Started yeah, with snowballs. Yeah, and uh, and has escalated since. Mm -hmm. Twinkies, to ho hos, nutter butters, mm -hmm. M and M's, the little off brand Twinkies. They're called like Twonkos. I just oh, wow. so, all of them. So you've you've so little Debbie's so hostess was a gateway to uh, to other other types of of items like this. Oh yeah, I mean that's I've heard I've heard that before too. Hostess is always the gateway. It's the mm. gateway food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see it a lot here, Brad. We see it a lot. Okay, I well, hadn't heard just, that. <laughs> it's that. Li it's just. It's that little Debbie. It's her smile. It entices everybody. Worse than heroin. I mean, Someone not well, <laughs> not me. I'm just here. I'm just here to refill all the coffees, you know. But, but it is what? so kind of you, Beatrice, to uh, to contribute to these discussions, um, in in the way that that you that only you can. Th thank you so much, Frank. I, you know, I just, mm. ooh, I, sorry, I dropped a cup. Um, I just, <laughs> you know, I just figured that everybody here should know that there is a life that people can lead without all of these things. And if I can prove to them that, that it's possible by pointing out that I've never had their problems, uh, you know. Just sorry, point of order, point of order. Is that, uh, is that normally allowed? Is, is um, that normally, is that normally in these meetings <laughs> There's one if one upmanship is on the table, I just want to know for when for when Kyle starts going. Huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just reading stuff here. 
Just because just well, if, if, if we're setting up with, I'm better than you, and that helps people. I mean, I'm, I'm taller than Kyle. Is that, is that something? Okay, but I'm sensing huh? some hostility, some, some maybe, <laughs> um, you know, bottled up guilt about things uh, that's being, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you know, that's, that's manifesting as, as some insecurity over, um, you know, Beatrice's uh, story here. Um, mm. Mm. Um, do you want me to refill the Swiss rolls? The entire plate's gone. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, so you, are all the yeah, devil squares. Go ahead. It's fine. I didn't know we had food here. I'll have more <laughs> coffee, though. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that, I, I'm just here. I'm just here to fill uh, up the, the coffee. Kyle, are you sure you, you're, you, you should be having another cup of the coffee? <laughs> oh, yeah. what you yeah. shared in group uh, last week? Life's short, man. Life's short. You got you to gotta stay woke. <laughs> okay um <laughs> right uh i when you say woke um do you mean politically or do you mean that you still have not slept <laughs> yeah yeah the other one the the one that was that last the last one. Okay. The one you said after the first one. That's right. True. That That's you have. So it's now been two weeks? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, we'll, Kyle we'll me on circle that back to that. Um, <laughs> Good. Because I just read the friggin' Pandora's box will melt your eyeballs. And that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Is that, is that from Little Debbie or is that their own company? She spoke to me. <laughs> Do you want me to also um, yeah. refill the caffeine, the caffeine pills? <laughs> yeah, if I could have another the, wait, wait, wait. Dixie the, cup of um, pack, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then I, I, I just want to make sure because I want to do my job right. Do you also want me to refill the Red Bull, uh, the Red Bull, the fridge? Yeah, fridge. Yeah, the, <laughs> the official sponsored one. Wait, who yeah. who told you? To, wait, a sponsorship well, with Red Bull? Who who yeah, said it's that? right there? I, well, I I mean, I saw I saw the fridge, and then there was a post-it note on it that said, "Please keep this full, love, Debbie." And um, just a giant thing of cash. Weird. So I've just been, Weird. you know, refilling it. They got a BMX bike outside too. Yeah, it's, it's the mafia. You do, probably don't want to mess with them. They're dangerous. Don't ask questions. I mean, the, they've got all these wonderful new different types of flavors. And some of them are like, you know, like treat, treat flavored. So they're not just fruit fra- flavored anymore. Not just fruit. This one's birthday cake. Flavored. Okay. So. Um, Which is kind of a fruit if you think about it. Like nutritionally, it may as well fruit. be. Yeah. Are you are you okay? I'm you, maybe we should put uh put a pin uh, in this. Um and uh, a sponsorship deal with Red Bull? <laughs> you didn't see the ladies? The ladies? Yeah, all those ladies with the weird can backpack. Oh, yeah. Mm, like this one. This backpack. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you open that thing, there's a Red Bull inside. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, I think that's, uh, that's probably enough group for tonight. Um, thanks oh. all for coming. Uh, I've got some things, um, personal things, things in my uh journey that that i'm gonna have to work through here and um oh, do, you, do you need me to fill up any any of the other the bins then for you to work <laughs> through them because i still haven't fill, filled up the the uh trail mix bin the checks the trail, mix bin trail mix? the gardetto bin i also i also haven't filled up the veggie chip bin there's a lot of bins. It's like every time, every time you hold a session, there's just another bin. 
Yeah. So, how about um how about we don't refill any of the fucking bins, Beatrice? Oh. What am I supposed to do? It's my job. I don't know. I mean, you were doing a really good job of uh of of sharing your story. I mean, I wasn't listening. Ding. <laughs> Knife. Oh, oh God. <sighs> I said that and immediately felt bad. <laughs> no, it was perfect. <laughs> oh. Stop filling the fucking bits. <laughs> People Christ. keep bringing them. I'm going to fill them. Right. <laughs> With a backpack. <laughs> oh. I, I loved it when you were like, refill the Red Bull, and Dave goes, fridge. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. That was so good. <laughs> Red Bull fridge. That mm. was what day it was. The day being the day this is released. Is. Publicly. Was. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Easy. It's that time where I get to pick an improv game. We all play it and have a grand old time. And then we go on to the next segment. Whatever that might be. All right. This week I have chosen Walkout. So we oh, will each no. be getting a word assigned to us. <laughs> Two of us will begin a scene. And whenever the, those words are said, the person to whom they are assigned will be entering or exiting in alternation. And all of the alternation and entrances <laughs> must be justified. So let us, uh, each of us think of a word. I'm going to say, hmm, inch or inches. Write this shit down. So that will be your word? No, that's a word that I am suggesting. And then okay. once we uh, all have the words, they'll be assigned. Okay. Oh, so we each say a word and then we're assigned a word. Yes. Okay, uh, mine is break. Does it matter which kind? I don't think so. Mine is definitely. Oh, God. Uh, You're welcome to dance. Mine is table. All right. Table? Sorry, cable or gable? Table. 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 Le table grand. All right, John's word is inch. Cody's word is break. My word is definitely, and Jess's word is table. All righty. Let's have this set in a restaurant. restaurant. And we are going to begin things with Jess and John, because they both have J's. Nice. No, that's good. That's good. I like it. Fantastic. Good evening, madame. Have you uh, made a decision? Yes, yes, I would like one of the Grigios, your Nivellin Grigio, please. And I will begin my gastro journey <laughs> with a number four. You see, number four is this very good choice, very good choice, and an excellent pairing, if I will say so myself. We always enjoy having discerning patrons here at uh, Le Roux. Le Roux. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite place, Le Roux, Le Roux. You know, I, I, I love to come here whenever I need a break. Oh, hi. Oh, you have the, 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 the carnation? I have the, the word. I'm, I'm, I'm Edwin. We're, I, we're here. I'm here for the... Hello, Monsieur. I'm here. I'm here. Like, remember the blind date, right? You're you're Bethany. I am. Yes, I am. And, and you, we 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 agreed to meet here, right? Right? Is that <gasps> you? Because it's oh, right. It's it's I Saturday. Was so I was it's, so um, overcome with the fact that I was coming to my favorite restaurant. I forgot that I invited someone. Oh, that makes me feel a certain way. Yeah, you have a seat at the table. Okay. I, I, I mean, I'm I figured it's, go, a, it's a date, so... Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to go freshen up, just, just a okay. skosh. I still need that Grigio. Okay. 
Okay, hi. Um, Hello, okay. monsieur. Uh, is what? this the first time you have dined with us here at Le Roux Le Roux? Definitely is. I don't even know what you guys have here. I well, we like, have uh, many, okay? many lovely things. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna. I'm topping off all the waters. <laughs> uh, bread, bread. Yeah, Chuck. <laughs> we are uh, in the middle of a conversation. The water was a little low. We oui, the water was a little low, just yep. a bit, just a bit yeah, low, about an, about an inch low. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and. Look, I'm going to go to the kitchen to make sure that we have this uh, Grigio thing that she wants. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please um, explain how the restaurants work to this this uh, gentleman here. Yeah, Edwin. Of course, Brad. Brad, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I look? How do I look? This is my first blind date in a long time. Oh wow. Uh, okay. Well, to properly assess, then uh, I'm going to close my eyes. And okay, it's not what I. Expected. I'm not really getting a vibe. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, oh, sorry. No, you I'm, look not, fine, I'm not a date. Guy. I'm not on a date mean, with you, Brad. You are? No, I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dude, I thought that was weird. I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm on for another four hours. So I'm I'm sitting by myself at a table wearing a, a like a white carnation on like a blue shirt. Does that even go? Sure. I don't know. Sure. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh. Hello. Hello, Brad. How Hi. are you today? Doing great. It's so nice to see you again. It's oh, you, you too. see you. You two know you two know each other. Oh, I know Brad. She's a she's a regular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brad, that's a, okay, that's that's yeah, right. that yeah. is um that is definitely a very cute ensemble that you put together. <laughs> it looks like you two are getting yeah, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, thank you. I think the outfit works pretty well too. Um, mm-hmm. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't really give me a chance. Or no, I didn't give him a chance. Let's be honest. Uh, what? What is this? What is this place? I've never been here. I've never even been on this side of town. Uh, like, I don't, I don't know. What's, oh, I don't know what's going oh. on. I just was really excited oh, well, for this, and to- I kind of jumped in with both feet. <laughs> You you do have to excuse Brad. You give him a break. He's okay. uh, trying so hard uh, oh, to fit shoot. in Sorry, here. I gotta take so this. This is my this mom. Hold is... on. Oh. Okay. Give a man an inch. <laughs> Hello, madame. Your Grigio for you. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, has oh. the gentleman has uh, absconded, sweet? <laughs> uh, he had to speak with his mother. Is this Marcel? His mother. Mm. Well, this is not necessarily a bad thing. A man that loves his mother who will take a call from his mother. I mean, I mean you're definitely right. You're definitely right. <sighs> okay. Uh, so peace, basically people come in, they sit down. <laughs> And then wait staff <laughs> take their order. Hello, Brad. Hi, Brad. Oh, hi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hi. What's, what's up? Were well, you attempting Sorry. to explain the restaurant to the, the absent person? Definitely. I'm going to go find this them. Is a... <laughs> he's not coming back, is he? I believe he's going on his break now. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Everything's fine. Just a little, uh, you know, ladder well, and some lard sure. mishap. Hello, hello. Um, I'm I'm sorry, sir. I didn't I didn't get your name, or if I did, I forgot it. Uh, my name is uh, it's <laughs> Chuck. 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 Okay, Chuck. I'm at I'm I'm Edwin. Nice to meet Edwin, you. Edwin. Lovely to meet you. Have you oh. had a chance to uh, have the restaurant explained to you? <laughs> no, I think uh, I think Brad was, and then he left the table, and then I had to go, and then I came back. This is then... very fascinating. So yes, I we think, at uh, La Rue Le Rue specialize I've heard in this so many times. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go uh, smell a flower. I've heard this so many times. I'm sorry, Chuck. I just <laughs> I can't hear it another time. <laughs> so we at La Rue Le Rue we mm-hmm. specialize in. In gravies. 
of all shapes and sizes. There are different sizes of gravies? Oh, oui, monsieur, oui, monsieur. You see, most people have only scratched the very bare surface of what a gravy is possible to do. Okay. Okay. There are gravies in this world, my friend, that go deep. Oh. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Let's go. Give me the give me the whole nine yards. So basically, people come in, they sit down, they're seated. The wait staff come and they like find out what they want that the restaurant provides. And oh, sorry, Chuck, was that? Did I? I'm so sorry. I was so just one track mine. You know, I am. Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm. It's pretty. How is this, this particular job has now been done? Which one? My job? Is he explaining you're firing how the me? restaurant works? Excuse me? Are you firing, you're firing me? Brad right in front of me? That's, that's a ballsy move. I'm like uh, eight inches away from him. Brad, you, you understand that I cannot fire you. No, that's why I'm so confused. We, your, your uncle owns this restaurant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You will not be being fired. Good. Chuck, Chuck, this man looks like he's within an inch of his life. Are you sure this is okay? I mean, gravy, Edwin, is not a health food. Okay. I'm scared, Chuck. <laughs> but I'm going to go and uh, check on, um, on, I smell something burning. Yeah, that's That inspires a lot of confidence. I'm excited. That's the other table on fire. I saw that. The whole table's on fire? Yeah. That it sounds awesome. Rad. Oh, sorry. I just want to... Oh, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay. Wait, you, you're telling me you light tables on fire at this place? Yeah, with, with alcohol. <gasps> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. I dropped uh, my dignity just for <laughs> a second there, and I had to go pick it back up. Did it roll well, on the uh, table? I, I hope you'll drop your standards oh, for me. You know what? Let me check. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got all of it. I will be right back. Hey, Edward. Brad, uh, just you, a note. You're that the best was not a good ever. line. Don't, it wasn't? Don't, no. Don't, don't be self-deprecating like that. Not at the dinner table. Oh. That's not a good okay. look. Okay. 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 I got okay. all of it. I got all of it. But well, you're going to need it. Are you sure? I'm a goddamn stallion. Are you sure you got all of it? Oh, I... Yeah. That, well, my my purse oh, I fell that work. over. I, I, I'm sorry. I've never, I've never done husbandry before. Is that supposed Whoa. to be impressive? This is like a, this is like a first date. I mean, if we're, I mean, if we're looking to go that fast, hu I'm, no, I'm no, down. Husbandry. But yeah, husbandry. Yeah, yeah. Husbandry and wifery. Like that's that's. Oh, definitely. I'm, I'm flattered. No. I'm flattered, but but I'm but, feeling uh, awkward. It's me. It's mm. not you. It's me. I'm gonna go throw <laughs> up in the bathroom. I mean, okay. It's, I'm, I'm new to the blind dating scene. If that's kind of how things work, uh, I just wanted everything to be gravy. Ding! Oh my god! <laughs> da, 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 da. 90s pun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to jump at the end. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that was fun. Like that. That's great. <laughs> Did I miss it definitely early on? I don't think uh, so. I don't. I, I don't felt so. like maybe I missed one because I I just suddenly my like focus suddenly came back at one point, <laughs> that, like, and I was like, oh, lots of things were just said, and I don't know what any of it was. <laughs> okay. Not that I I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, I think cool. we all did I, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I the, almost missed that that one at the end. That, the inch. Yeah. yeah. Only because you missed the one before it. <laughs> oh, I did. Sorry. Yeah, and I didn't know. So I didn't know if you did that on purpose, though, because it was tech. It was like one of those technicalities oh. because it was inches, like multiple inches. Yeah, but I no, said I inches oh. slash inches. <laughs> Dave, he yeah. did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know I, I almost missed the first one. It was Jess and John said something about, oh, he's going to go on his break. Beat. No, mm. it's me. Okay, here we go. Like, <laughs> it's this hanging oh. moment of said the word. <laughs> that was fun. I love it. It's been a while since we played that. I don't know how long, but it's been a while. It has so. been a while, yeah. yeah. 
All right. Well, there's only one more segment for us to do, and that's the ending. Whoa. I hope that you all enjoyed listening to this improv podcast called Wasting All the Time, Season 2, Upwards Inflection. That's good. If there was anything that you liked in particular, please head on over to wastingallthetime.com slash vote to let us know about it. At the end of the year, we will take all of those submissions, put them in a big old list for people to listen back to and rank um, so we get our top 10. It's a lot of fun. Hope you participate. Wastingallthetime.com slash vote. If there's anything you hated, boy, relatable, relatable. <laughs> wow. Go I did my Twitter. best, Dave. <laughs> Go to Twitter. Check out at Jay Hansen himself. That's John's uh, unobserved Twitter account. Uh, and you can let us know about all of your complaints there. But until the next time, I, of course, have been Dave. I was John. I was Jess. And I was Cody. <laughs> it was true. <laughs> And we wasted all the time. Bon voyage. (laughs) Butts. Bye. Good night, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. ever actually like read any of your old diary entries ever um yeah my live journal still exists yeah yeah. and every once in a while i go back and 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 look at it to remind myself of what a fucking asshole i was at Mm. 18 Mm. gotta keep myself humble Mm. Mm -hmm. gotta be very socratic Mm. and more so all i know is that i don't know shit Mm. yeah we uh a few years ago when we were recording the podcast and we, we all pulled up our old live journals and looked through them and it was harrowing. It was awful. It was awful. Weird. Weird. <laughs>